The first step is joining the arms to the main plate and the PDB. Take four M3x10 cap screws, four M3x12 cap screws, and four M3 lock nuts. The arms have a long and a short side in the center, and the same arm mirrors both sides. The long edge of the arm goes horizontally across the frame, so the holes line up, and then the arm flips 180 degrees to alternate around the frame. And this is the way the arms key together in the middle to distribute force from one arm to all others in the frame. First, take an M3x10, place it through the main plate from the underside and place an arm on top of that using the camera vertical plate mounting slots as a guide for the front of the frame. Mount the PDB in the correct orientation on the frame for your flight controller. For the Tornado, that is with the XT60 on the left of the frame. And then flip the frame over and just gently tighten that first screw. Next, insert a second arm, line up the holes, place a second M3x10 through from the underside and gently tighten as well. You'll notice at this point the arms being keyed, they're already holding themselves in place. Repeat for the remaining arms and then tighten all of them until they just touch the main plate such that you still have a small amount of movement in order to align the remaining screws. The cone washers are optional but are recommended to distribute the load to the main plate. Place the M3x12 cap screws through the cone washers and through the outer arm bolt from the underside of the main plate. Capping them off with an M3 lock nut. Just finger tight for now until all four are in and the arm's still loose. And then what I prefer is to gently push the arms in from the front and rear. Gently tighten the inner screws first. Same for the other side. Take up the slack from the front and rear and gently tighten. It just means that the most likely impact is from the front and the slack is already taken up in the arms from that direction. And then with the 5.5 mil nut driver, hold the nut with the driver and then tighten firm. Repeating for all four and then evenly tension all those eight screws. Ending each one with the twist of the nut driver to get it fully up to tension. As always, firm, but not over tight. That completes the main chassis.